Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone, my lovely student. Okay, this is still in chapter 5, form 5, and this is part 2. Okay, still in congruency, our learning standard for this video. Back and verify the conjecture of triangle congruency based on sides and angle. In this video, we only um, focus on triangle. So, what are the characteristics of triangle congruency? Two congruent triangles have equal corresponding sides and angles. Can we say that two triangles are congruent if we compare only part of the corresponding sides and angle? Hmm. Okay, this is all the properties of triangle congruency. There are all six. Okay, the first one, side, 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 or, or S, 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 or triple S. The length of corresponding sides are equal, which is AC equals to PR, AB equals to PQ, and BC equals to QR. So, by looking at the side, then we can conclude that all the corresponding sides are equal, then we can say that both triangles are congruent. Okay, another one, side, angle, side. S, A, S. Two corresponding sides are equal in length and the size of corresponding substandard angle between two sides are equal which is AC equals to PR, um, angle BAC equals to QPR, this angle, okay, angle BAC and QPR equals and AB and PQ also equal in tank. Next. Angle, side angle or ASA, two corresponding angles are equal and the length of the corresponding side between the two angles are equal. Okay, between these two angles, this side are equal size. So, this is ASA. Angle BAC equals to uh, QPR. AC equals to PR and also angle B, uh, ACB, this angle equals to angle PRQ. Okay, this is ASA. Angle, angle side, AAS. Two corresponding angles are equal and the length of one of the corresponding side which does not lie between between the two angles are equal, which is the other side. So this angle, BAC equals to QPR, and also ACB, this angle ACB equals to PRQ, and these two corresponding side are which is BC equals to QR. Next, angle, 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 or triple A. All the three corresponding angles are equal. The area of pair of triangle must be equal. So, all corresponding uh, angles are equal, which is this angle, ABC equals to QR, and also BAC equals to QPR and ACB equals to PRQ. So, this one we focus on angle. So, angle, angle, angle. Side, side, angle. Side, side, angle means we look at two sides and one angle. Two corresponding sides are equal in length 
and one of the corresponding angle which is not substandard between two sides are equal. The area of pair of triangle must be equal, which is AC equals to PR, um, AB equals to PQ, and this angle ACB equals to PRQ. Okay, next. Have a look at this example. Determine whether each pair of the following triangles satisfy the property of triangle. Have a look at these two triangles. Is it congruent? Obviously, no. Although both triangles have two corresponding sides and one corresponding angle, which is um, same measurement, but the remaining side and angle are different in measurement. The areas are also not equal or different. So, this is not congruent. So, B, have a look at these two triangles. This is also no. Although both triangles have three corresponding angle of the same measurement. All the angles are, are the same measurement. This one 53.1, this one also 50. All the three angles is equal, but the sides are different in measurement. The area also different. Question, uh, example 3. The diagram below shows two congruent triangles. Okay, ABC and uh, DEF is two congruent triangles. It is given that the triangle congruent rule used to determine both triangle are congruent is ASA, angle side angle. Complete the table below with other characteristics involving angle side angle. Means we look at one angle, uh, one side and one angle. So actually there is two... Um, possible answer. First, the angle um, ACB ACB is angle equals to BFE. The side, uh, we can say that BC BC equals to EF. And also another angle, ABC equals to DEF. Or we can just change the position of the angle. No, now we look at this angle. So the angle is ACB. ACB. And B F E are equal to the side. We look at this side. B F and A C are equal. And another angle is E D F, E D F, and B A C. B A C equals to EDF. Okay, example 4. The diagram below shows a triangle EFG. It is given that another triangle KLM has the same shape and size with triangle EFG. State the triangle congruent rule be a use to determine if both triangles are congruent. So for A, this is uh, angle, angle, and side. So, the corresponding angle and one corresponding side that, do, that does not lie between two angles are given. Before. Triangle congruent rules is, is angle, angle, side. Which is AA as another one. Three corresponding sides are given, therefore the triangle congruent rule is side, side, side. 
it next two corresponding side and one corresponding substandard angle between two sides are given therefore the triangle congruent rule is side angle side which is s a s so that's all this is your homework self practice one 5.1b um okay this is the homework the two question thank you and see you in the next video bye